I'm going to start this out with a joke, even though I know you're serious. And, um, where's my thing at? Today's this drink for me is juice. I drink all these juice things today. It's pretty good. Sergeant, Sergeant, Sergeant. I didn't watch that video. He's not me. This is true. I haven't seen that yet, but I will watch it. Um, that's all I can say, man. You're right in so many ways. And you're true. The thing is, the problem is that young people cannot teach the same way the older people did. The lack of knowledge passed down has created this. These women are not Florida Evans. They're more like um, some hoochie mama type shit. That means it's like get the groove on, go to the club, party, have fun. Have fun. We have been having fun for too long. Let me tell you a quick story that uh, my father and some of his older friends have told him. And that's this story about uh, divide and conquer. Now, the people my father had to look up to were true gangsters and pimps and hustlers and shit. These people stayed true to the hustle to the end. Now, in passing on knowledge, I got my knowledge from being around older people. I spent all of my youth around old people. Um, most of my friends are older than me. Um, let's get that out of the way. So that's done. What I have learned in my lifetime and in my experience is this. When we teach nonsensical things, nonsense becuts nonsense. In other words, you teach stupid shit, stupid shit comes up. You can blame, I can blame. The true blame lies with the media. Well, you know. What have they been teaching young black women the last 25, 30 years? Like I said, Florida Evans, and you know, she's trying to get the family out the hood. James is always arguing and screaming, <laughs> but he always made sense. Um, then the old grandma took over, and um, she did her thing, and then of course it was Weezy from the Jeffersons, a black woman with money. See, these young women have images now, us young men at the time were impressionable too. Our images were, you know, fed to us. And they were always the black man struggling. When you teach a race of people to struggle, then all they do is struggle. All they want was the game, the hustle, the straight life. What I'm trying to say when it comes to you and women is this. How do you feel about these women is your business. And that's, that's how you feel. And I totally agree with you. But I've seen some stupider shit on the black man's side. I once worked for a place called GMR Marketing. We weren't making much money. A little $25, $30 an hour. But every night we went to clubs. Take, for instance, one night we're in the city. The city of San Francisco. Um, a young white lady walks up to this black dude. She touched him on the shoulder and says, oh, Hey, hey, hey. Brother spins around, cuts it out five different ways. And he didn't realize that this white broad, a white bitch, or a white chick, or a white girl was with a bunch of sisters. Now, what she said to this black man completely shocked me, and that's the first time I had recognized that things had changed. She spun around after the brother had cussed out, and she says, Motherfucker, I never listen here. You was over there talking so goddamn much. All I could see was your fucking fake ass gold grill. You talked all that shit, you flossed and flashed and all that shit you did, and I left your wallet on the table. Now my girls was gonna get your dumb black ass, but instead I'm bringing all your shit back. Because, you know what, fuck it. And she threw his wallet out on the dance floor. That shocked me. First of all, I ain't never seen anybody, you know, flat out clown a brother like that. Let alone somebody who was Big Willie styling, like his shit didn't stink. And that brought me to a conclusion like, it was like eight, nine years ago. 
Them brothers have lost their goddamn minds. Niggas is stupid now. There's a difference between black men, niggas, and niggers. But that line between niggas and niggers is getting thin. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. Most of our women follow our example. If the young black man ain't doing shit but trying to get some pussy and sell some dope and drink, what do you think the young black woman going to do? You can blame a hell of a lot of shit on my generation because, hey, you guys got to see us fuck up. The problem is this. I got to see my uncles, the alcoholics, heroin addicts, and all kind of shit. I didn't follow in their footsteps. I had different crutches thrown in front of me. Need I go there, I won't. But when the time comes, I will, because I ain't got nothing to hide. You see my face? So, what I'm trying to say to you, Sergeant, is this. In a long time, we should have done things to make things better for you. In your time, which is now, all I can do is encourage you to do what I should have did. And in that way, you are doing so. But if you got a handful of women backing you up, when you need a horde of women backing you up, then you need to make these people understand in a manner other than the way you're doing it. You might slap three or four down and they come back up like, you know what, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But those simple-minded ones don't. So I noticed on a few of your videos now that you're pretty much interviewing women or you're talking to them. I don't know how you're doing it, but all I can do is this. Ask you this. Next time you're around your friends or whatever, or the next time someone comments on your page and she agrees with you, either ask her to do an interview and ask her to explain herself why do you agree with the Sergeant Willie P and you're a woman. Tell me. Because these other ones won't listen to you because you're a man. All of that line is that men won't ask. Men want their dick suck. Men want their money. And young black women have no other reason to believe other than that. When all these young motherfuckers do is want some ass and some pussy. And they get it, get them pregnant, just like you said. And the next thing you know, you got the next motherfucker giving your baby brandy. But you didn't look at that video, did you? You know, she would have told me about it. So, um, you know, all I can do is agree with you. And all I can do is tell you to modify. Because I can understand you. I can understand you from your perspective, from my perspective. And I can understand you from these women's perspective. And from their perspective... You're just some motherfucker who can't get a black woman. You're just some motherfucker who can't keep a black woman. You got a problem with black women. And you don't have a problem with black women. But you perceive to have one. It looks like you got one. It looks like one may have hurt you pretty goddamn good. But I don't know. It might happen. It might not. Have. A lot of black women have hurt me. A lot of women have hurt me. But you have to also take this into consideration. Like I said, you know... Your mom was a perfect, perfect example. She might have did whatever she did, but she raised a young man. That's something that these girls can't do. They can't raise a man. Right there is an example that they need to see. They need to see that black woman telling you to get your ass up and go to school. Or showing up when you needed a mother to show up. You know, they just need a man to, help, to tell them how to be a woman. It's like... 11.30, I'm tired as hell. <sighs> and you caught me off guard earlier today. And I was going to check the list and see if you saw that video I did. And I appreciate the fact that me and you have found common ground. Even though I know we found it a long time ago. The thing is this. In our society, there are no more leaders. Everybody following. And in saying that, you have a better opportunity to lead these people than I do. Take them someplace, man. Take them on a trip they can go to and understand you. Like I said, teach them who really Pete is. Because there's a reason why you think the way you do. And if they can see from your perspective, then they can understand you. And then you have more than two or three women understanding you. Because they may see it. But you have to let them see it in their eyes. 
only been tubed. 